Hi guys, it's your girl Yammy and I'm here at Animal Kingdom. Donna and I are here to have a fun day and we figured uh, we'll take you along with us. So we got some duckies back in here somewhere. There they are. So we're gonna go just check out the animals. Let's have some fun. Look at the pretty ducks. Oh, look at here, we have Pocahontas. She's standing out by the rocks, doing pictures, so sweet. All right, first stop we're gonna make is to the Restaurantosaurus and get some lunch because it's lunchtime. All right, so I ordered a bacon cheeseburger and it's got lettuce and tomato on it. It's got french fries and I got a side of cheese. And Donna got the s'mores shake. It's a chocolate covered s'mores with a little dinosaur on it and it's got some marshmallows. All right, the cheese sauce is probably one of the best things to get to dip your fries in. It is salty. Cheesy, and it just tastes so good. So you can get a side of this. I think it's a dollar for a side of cheese. But I got the burger, and there's bacon on it and cheese, and it was only like 14 bucks for the meal. Mm-hmm. It's pretty tasty for a theme park burger. It really is. The burger was good, the fries were good, the cheese was good, so it was a good meal. Um, now we're gonna head out to find guest experience because my DAS has expired, and so I need to renew it. Well, we walked around the dinosaur area where you can play games and you can meet this big old Gertie. Well, that's not Gertie, but I don't know what his name is. Anybody know what his name is? Comment down below if you know what his name is. But look at that picture op over there. That is a cute picture op. I'm going to have to get one. We're about to get on the train here. The next, next one that comes. And we're just going to ride the train around and check things out. to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife we might encounter along the way and the highly trained specialists who care for them. From ostriches and rhinos to the mighty African elephant, the species we care for here at Disney's This is Rafiki's planet, but we're not getting off. We're just riding the train around just for a relaxing ride. Comenzamos ahora nuestro viaje de regreso a la aldea africana de Arambe. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Siéntense hasta atrás pegados al respaldo de la banca. Y por favor, inspired the idea of Disney's Animal Kingdom a place that celebrates our deep connection with animals, the magic of nature, and wonder of exploration that comes from preserving and protecting our natural world. As you venture out into the park today... So we just went around the train, one loop around, was hoping to see some animals, but we never did get to see any animals out um, or in the cages that we, or not the cages, but the buildings that we could see them in. We weren't lucky enough to see any animals. So what we're going to do now, 
we're gonna go get on the safari. Why not go see some animals there? Home range, they will shoo everybody off of their home range. Mm -hmm. Through the thicket. We also have the greater kudu, that's the tan one there. Again, that's a female, she does not have more co-parenting. There's a hippo. We also have this Nile. Oh yes, they're done showering. You're, you're welcome. This is what it's called. This is called a dumb shower. I don't want to explain this. They do that to mark their territory. They'll poop and they'll fling it all over the place with their tail. Oh, That's called gross. a dumb shower. You're welcome. Sleep under the water, holding their breath for about eight minutes before they need to come up for a breath of fresh air. So when do they come out of the water? Well, they usually come out of the water at night to graze against the water's edge. And they're hungry, hungry hippos. They eat about 80 to 90 pounds of food a day. Herd. A herd of zebras contain one male stallion and two to three females. So this is a herd. A herd of zebras is rare and they are a rare sight to see. There's less than 7,000 painted dogs remaining in the wilderness today. Able antelopes are unique. They will stand their ground instead of backing down and running away from a predator. Their horns are tilted towards their backs, so acting like a deterrent for any animal that wants to jump on their backs. Then we also have the wildebeest. Wildebeest are the second most densely populated herd on planet Earth. Does anybody know what the first most densely populated herd is? Humans. Yeah, we're a densely populated herd. There are 1.5 million wildebeest in a herd. And a herd of wildebeest is called a confusion or an implausibility. Next table is on our right. We're talking about the elin. Closest to us is a dainty 600 pounds. We also have a group of giraffes out here. A group of giraffes is called a tower. The reason why I call them towers because they tower over everything being the Their tongues are so long, they're about 17 to 20 inches long. That's as long as your arm. So this herd would be grandmothers, mothers, daughters, sisters, and their children. That herd also has a name. That herd's name is called a memory. On the right hand side, we'll have to see cattle for the first group of people to domesticate them. The green figures are the lightest shade of pink of the flamingo family. They get their pink color from their diets of different crustaceans, such as prime shrimp. And this is indeed a group of flamingos. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyancy because of their brightly colored feathers. White rhinos are much more sociable than the black rhinos we didn't get to see today. These guys like to live in a herd. A herd of rhinos is called a grash.